The topic of our today's discussion is CNS ischemic response or central nervous system ischemic response or what happens when the central nervous system or the brain is receiving a less blood or no blood at all. So basically the CNS ischemic response or the central nervous system ischemic response simply means increase in the arterial pressure increase in the arterial pressure due to low or decreased blood flow to the cerebral nervous system uh, central nervous system or the vasomotor center so basically it is an increase in the arterial pressure due to decrease blood flow to the brain and the most important part of the brain which regulate this uh, cns ischemic response is the vasomotor center now we have discussed in detail the central uh, vasomotor center that it has vasoconstrictor uh, sites and the vasodilator sites and it decides that the vasomotor center basically decides according to the input that uh, whether the the body needs to increase the arterial pressure or it needs to decrease the arterial pressure and basically input is coming uh, to this vasomotor center and then output is also going through the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system now basically the signals the sensory input the input coming to the vasomotor center is basically with the help of the baroreceptors the chemoreceptors and similarly other stretch receptors in the atria and some other nerves which basically brings the input to the vasomotor center in the brain and then the brain with the help of that input analyze the situation and sends the output the output could be increase in arterial pressure or decrease in arterial pressure now what happens when the blood flow to the vasomotor center in itself is decreased suppose for example the there is a blood vessel which is basically supplying the blood to the vasomotor center just like we get uh, the patient gets an mi myocardial infarction with the there is no blood supply to the heart the organ which is basically pumping the blood to the whole of the body when it is deprived of bl of blood in itself then how it is going to pump blood to the body and then mi occurs myocardial infarction occurs similarly the vasomotor center is taking input and is sending output and it is trying to maintain the arterial pressure and it is trying to uh, like uh, helping in the regulation of the circulation but what happens when the blood flow of the vasomotor serve um, vasomotor center in itself is compromised or there is decreased blood flow to the vasomotor center when this thing happens when there is a decreased blood flow to the vasomotor in itself a vasomotor center in itself then there is an extreme stimulation of the vasoconstrictor and vasodilator areas there is extreme stimulation of the vasomotor uh, vasoconstrictor and vasodilator areas and there is a severe increase in the arterial pressure and this increase in the arterial pressure due to decreased blood flow or due to ischemia of the cns or the vasomotor center is known as the cns ischemic response but how how this vasomotor center detects that there is a decrease in blood flow to uh, to the vasomotor center or itself and how then it decides to increase the arterial pressure so basically it uh, de de detects the level of carbon dioxide when the blood flow to the vasomotor center is uh, decreased there is increase in the level of carbon dioxide and possibly the lactic acid as well or some other substances lactic acid when there is decreased blood flow there is accumulation of the carbon dioxide here and accumulation of lactic acid or some other substances due to which this vasomotor center it detects this as a decrease in the blood flow 
and due to this thing it sends extremes it causes extreme extreme stimulation of the vasoconstrictor and vasodilator areas and it increases powerfully the arterial pressure sometimes it can increase the arterial pressure up to 250 mm of mercury and it can maintain it for up to about 10 minutes but this this thing this cns ischemic response occurs only when the arterial pressure has fallen like below 60 mm of mercury so a small decrease in the arterial pressure will not cause the cns ischemic response rather a decrease below uh, 70 or 60 mm of mercury will cause enough accumulation of lactic uh, acid and ac- enough accumulation of the carbon dioxide in the vasomotor center so that it can detect that no blood is coming to the vasomotor center and this may be due to the decreased arterial pressure after that it strongly stimulates the vasoconstrictor and vasodilator areas and it leads to increase in the arterial pressure and that's uh, that's how it contribute in maintaining the arterial pressure in ischemia in the brain ischemia but one important uh, thing regulated with uh, this thing uh, with this uh, vasomotor center uh, vasomotor uh, area ischemia or the ischemia of the vasomotor center is that it is an emergency pressure control system emergency control emergency pressure control system or it is also known as last ditch stent last ditch stent because it is the last thing to do initially the the body tries to maintain the arterial pressure because initially the body tries to maintain the arterial pressure with the help of baroreceptors the chemoreceptors the stretch receptors the low pressure receptors the volume reflex but when all these um, reflexes all these receptors all the peripheral phenomena has failed and the arterial pressure has fallen as low as 60 mm of mercury only then the cns ischemic response get activated and but once it get activated it can it can activate the uh, it can increase the arterial pressure so strongly that it can increase the arterial pressure up to 250 mm of mercury and it can maintain it for up to around 10 minutes that's why it is known as the emergency pressure control system and it is also known as the last ditch stent so that's all about the cns ischemic response and cns ischemic response is basically due to the uh, basically an increase in arterial pressure due to ischemia of the brain or due to decreased blood flow to the brain and it happens because when decreased blood flow occurs to the vasomotor center there is accumulation of the carbon dioxide there is accumulation of the lactic acid which causes extreme stimulation of the vasoconstrictor and vasodilator areas in the vasomotor center and it causes uh, extreme elevation in the arterial pressure so that's all about the uh, that's all about the uh, nervous regulation of the circ- uh, circulation that's that shows that how the nervous system how the cns or the brain is basically involved in the uh, circulation and the cns ischemic response is one very good example to prove that the without the involvement of the nervous uh, system without the involvement of the brain without the involvement of the spinal cord and nerve the this the regulation of the circulation will be very very difficult thanks a lot for watching the video